Welcome back to Let's Play Max Payne 3. In the last video, we got here into Nova Esperanza, yeah, favela. There's two types of people. Those who spend their lives trying to build the future, and those who spend their lives trying to rebuild the past. For too long, I've been stuck in between. In the dark, what was I really doing walking in there with my bad haircut and ridiculous shirt? Was I there to make something right? Or was I just using a messed up situation to indulge myself, grasping at some desperate delusion? Hey, look! It's the same animations over and over and over again. And, uh, yeah, we followed that kid down here into the favelas and he took us to the street party. Keep in mind this game was made in 2013 or 11? Was it? This was the kind of reality Americans paid top dollar to see. The slums had become tourist attractions, places where yuppies could gawk at the end of uh -oh. the spirit of the poor from the inside of their bulletproof buses. I felt dumb and exposed. I missed the pools. Not the matter, sober or drunk, I was hardly undercover. And I stood out in this place like a street walker in a monastery. And boop, uh oh. Oh no! Guys with guns! Not like anybody cares. I don't know what they're doing, I don't know what they're saying, but okay, let's follow them. You're carrying a desert eagle, dude. I don't understand what you're saying. I think that means welcome to Nova Esperanza. Considered, I was gonna have to look on this as a good outcome. I was deep in gang territory. These kids were raised hating clowns like me. Middle income ass kickers who protected the rich by shooting kids like them. Well, Max, you just got mugged. First day off the sauce and somehow I'd still ended up in the gutter. Huh. <laughs> Though not in the way you probably intended it to, you know. I had to get somewhere. Who's that? Wait. I hear the I hear a whistling. Where's that whistling coming from? This is one of the more dull, relaxed sections of the game. I don't like it. It's too much walking around. I don't know, shooting people in the face. There was one thing I learned since I've been here. It was that Brazilians came out of the wood and kicking the ball. And for kids like these, with their one legal chance at a ticket out of here. Yep. Yeah, you got yourself into this mess, Max. We are a problem solver, right? This way has to be a problem you can solve. I mean, uh, a solution to your problem. I'm here. The irony was not lost on me. I figured sobriety was no use to be dead. Oh, and we're coming up to one of the sections of the game that I can't show on YouTube because of reasons. Come on, Max, hurry up with the walking. People want to see this game and people want to see, you know, you shooting people in the face. Not uh, walking around looking for booze. 
understood your truth. See here? By being out of your life, I was only doing what you mean, as I was asked. What she asked of me. And if I remember correctly, this is the part of the game that I can't show on YouTube, so I will be back in a sec. Welcome back to Max Payne 3! Sorry for the intermission. If you want to see that cutscene, go look for some of the Let's Play. Because I'm not going to show it here because of age restrictions. And now, uh, but essentially that cutscene was, oh, we bumped into this fella called... Not not this fella, but uh, a fella called De Silva from the Sao Paulo Police Department. He's actually one of the detectives that's actually looking into corruption in the police force. And he's essentially enlisted Max's help to go track down this uh, elusive corruption. And it somehow involves the Broncos. So, but we aren't going to get any further without shooting this guy in the face. So let's shoot this guy in the face. Thank you. I don't want to shoot you. How many bullets will you take? Jeez. Die. Oh, I hear an assault rifle. No, that's a, that's a machine pistol. I am a Time Lord, bitches. You are not going to take me alive. Okay, you've got a shotgun. That's good. Thank you. Okay, let's replace. Oh no, there's a. Oh yeah, I forgot the the, the swan off is actually a one-handed weapon. Whoops. I'd have felt worse taking someone's medication if everybody in that place hadn't been trying to kill me. They've all got revolvers. How apt. I think some of them have uh, assault rifles, right? Oh, ah, 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 ow, ow, ow. That hurts, you jerk. There we go. That's that problem handled. No, you don't. You're dead. Blood ejected out of every orifice. No, you're, uh, uh, you're, you're innocent. I can't. I, I won't kill you. Hello. Hello. American? American. Oh, jeez, buddy. Am I glad to see you? Oh, fuck me. We need to go to the I've been coming to this shithole town for the last five years. It's like a fucking insane asylum. Okay. I'm not gonna shoot you. Don't judge me, alright? Silently judging. Fine. Stupid. Jesus. What a fucking creep. And we will get to that in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like and a comment in the comment section below. Oh my goodness, there are so many clues that I miss here. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, everybody.